Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica videos. My name is Deepika. Today I am going to demonstrate the data replication deployment topology fanout in IDR that is configuring a replication from a single source to multiple targets. Today's agenda will be, we will see how to configure data replication from one source to multiple targets, prerequisites for it, steps to configure fanout one source to multiple targets. To replicate data to multiple targets, you typically install IDR on the source system and on each target system. On the source system, run an extracted task and a server manager instance. And on each target system, run a applier task and a server manager instance. The server manager transmits intermediate files from one source to each target. This image shows a typical topology that includes three targets with IDR console on a standalone machine. Prerequisites for fanout will be the targets will be of the same type and use the compatible target schema that can have different names. Create the tables of same schema structure in all the target database. I have a source table named a test with two columns, a one with integer data type and another with varchar. I have created uh, tables of same schema structure in target databases as well. The next prerequisite will be configure the named connections for all the target database. Now I will show you how to create a named connection. Go to the Power Exchange uh, installation location. Start the server manager. Open the IDR console. Connect. Then go to connections. Create new connection, give a user defined name, host, username, corresponding password, instance name. A prompt will display that you are connected to that particular database. Click OK. So you have created a new connection. Uh, in a similar manner, you should have different named connection for source and all the target database. Now we'll create a new config of in which data replication takes place from one source to multiple targets. Create new config. Again, a user defined name. Click OK. Now the next step will be you have to connect to the source and target. You Here you have to use the named connection. Click connect. Now we have to connect to the target database. Here you have to give the named uh, connection for target database that is your primary target database. Then click on connect. From the map tables tab select the source and target database and map the tables map the corresponding tables this is my source and target primary target test is the source table test t is the target table primary target table uh, i am doing a sql mapping now then save it yeah, do a uh, prompt will be uh, displayed stating do you want to run supplemental logging click on yes and this is for recovery then go to edit routing add a new routing connection that is your you are adding a secondary target here then click on ok a prompt uh, to enable recovery for the secondary ta target table will be shown. Click on OK again. 
now save do you uh, this is uh, this prompt is for uh, initial sync purpose yes you want to run the initial sync uh, you, optionally you can select any particular target on which you want to run the initial sync okay and then yeah it shows for primary uh, target that is uh, dtgt the initial sync is successful and for the secondary target it shows as failure the reason is for the secondary target you have not changed the schema name that is the schema name of the primary target will be used for secondary target as well so you need to rename the schema name of the secondary target for that you need to uh, add a new uh, schema name that is you have to rename the dtgt present for the primary target to the uh, schema name of the secondary and click ok now save initial sync prompt yes this is already synced for second one ok now the status is success close it and run the extractor now run the applier optionally you can apply the changes to any one particular target all all the targets yeah it states no new dml changes to apply that is we have not made any changes to the source so uh, we'll see uh, we'll make some changes to the source and uh, let's see if it's applied to the targets now i will add a new record here another record commit it then uh, no need of initial sync again running the extractor yeah success close it apply to all the targets that is to the two targets primary as well as secondary yeah process two records now close it and we'll check in the database side this is my primary target test t is the table name we have the records here and secondary target test t and the data yes the two records are present in the primary target and secondary target we have applied the changes from that those are present in one source to multiple targets that is from that is in primary as well as in secondary now you can optionally override the apply mode that is here uh, override apply edit yeah the default in the sense the apply mode which is specified to the primary target will be uh, apply to the secondary target as well if you want to change it you can use sql audit or merge for the secondary target this is what override apply means with this we come to the end of this video we would love to hear from you please write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or https slash slash twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you.